few days ago we did a shoot for Hideout Leather. They make really beautiful custom tailored leather motorcycle clothing and very recently they've started making textiles as well. I was delighted when Kate, the owner of Hideout Leather, asked me to do a shoot for them and um, and she basically gave me a carte blanche and said I could do whatever I wanted. So I said, well, you know, the stuff's waterproof, so why don't we do something with water and, and show that water moving and maybe sort of freeze that movement for these still images and, and, and just have a bit of fun with it. And then we decided the best place to do it was probably at a fire station, so Kate was able to help there with the, finding a location that was appropriate. And we proceeded to shoot. It was actually a, a really cold but really bright and sunny day but by shooting with a phase one, I was able to synchronize my flash at a 1600th of a second. And what this enabled me to do was to bring the sky down, bring the ambient light down so I could have a, a much moodier look to the images. The other benefit of the higher flash synchronization was being able to really freeze that water in action. So have a look at some of these behind the scenes images and this is why I still choose to shoot with medium format and I, and I will for the foreseeable future. Hi, my name's Kate from Hideout Leather. Uh, today we're showcasing our new High Pro product. This textile garment is now as protective as all of our leather range as well. Um, but obviously with the added bonus of being 100% waterproof as well. That's nice, yeah, I think we're seeing the black really, really beautifully on this actually. Great dynamic range on this thing. Here we go, one, two, three. I think that's cool. I think we're gonna, once that's annotated, that's gonna look fine. Let's have a look on the computer, just check our um, detail and our blacks, but I think, I think we're pretty good. And three, two, one. Nice! Oh yeah, that was good. Oh yeah. I hear a lot of people suggesting that uh, you don't need to shoot medium format anymore, you can do it all on a, on a high megapixel DSLR. I personally find that for any work that I'm doing that is going into print, and if it's going to be a magazine cover or it's going to be something that's going to be used A4 or bigger, I'll still shoot uh, with medium format. With the hideout leather shoot, the final images to be used at the motorcycle show were actually used at 2.4 meters high, printed at 300 DPI. Okay, it was a very, very um, high quality printing process. And when you go right up close to the images, they look absolutely amazing. We delivered the final files at roughly one gig each. So they were big, big files, but they were, they were rich and full of detail. We shot an IQ 180 back and the files were resed up, I think it was something like 230%, something like that. So we really were really pulling those files really, really big. Um, but this is something that I, I just don't think you can achieve uh, the level of result we got with a DSLR. Look, I use DSLRs. I, I own several of them. Um, but I also use medium format as well. It, it, you know, it all depends on the job and the requirements of the job at hand.